mate, Ricky. How you doing? Right. This is a bit poxy, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna clear up in a minute. I'm not yeah, worried. We're we're used to rain. We we fish, so we're used to rain. No, oh, nice. <laughs> right. Him, her, him, him. Real. Bring him out. Shall I put on him what I normally walk him in? Yeah. Just I so brought, we start off at the beginning, I guess, then. Right, what I've done is I've brought his muzzle in case, like, when you tick him, because when he's when he's on the lead and somebody approaches him, he doesn't like it, and that's yeah, when he's okay. at his high alert, so we yeah, might okay. try and nip. We had him at Fine. six months old. So Seven. Yeah, Seven. okay. Yeah, all right. all right. And he's more protective towards... Me. Karen. Yeah, right. okay. Like, if we take him fishing... Yeah. I'll, I'll take him next to me to meet other people, he's fine, but if Karen's got him, and especially if he's on the lead, he's like really Yeah, he gets a bit defensive. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, and he follows me everywhere, so in the house I have to tell him to, to go and sit down and stuff, because yeah, okay. he just wants to be with me all the time. In your shadow. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay. Bring him out. Let him stretch his legs and have a wee and whatever. What would you say his biggest struggle is? People or dogs or equal? Both. Yeah, Both. Okay. I can pass, if I have him like this on the short lead, I actually, he's come a long way because I used to not be able to pass people on the footpath. Right, okay. Now I can pass people on the footpath. If mm -hmm. I keep him short, I keep him focused on me and I, you know, I talk to him and I maybe have a treat handy and I sort of distract him. You see now he's, um, yeah. it's sad really because he's in the house all excited to go for a walk. Yeah. The minute I open that front door and he's out, it's like, oh my God, it's a big yeah. world, I'm it's terrified. It's full straight away. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a little wander over this way. He's pretty good on the lead. He don't pull much on the lead because yeah, I've okay. sort of trained him a bit. Yeah. But I've never had a dog like this, so this is new to me. Yeah, sure. But I have. I am a member of your thing, so I do look at a lot of videos. Yeah, okay. But it's not the same as actually being here. Watch out for these sleepers. They get a bit slippy yeah. in the wet. <clears throat> Bring him over this way. Just let him have a sniff for a minute. He's handsome, isn't he? Yeah, he is lovely. Yeah. I mean, he's a great dog in every other way. He's a really loving dog, very good in the house, very good with the children. Just a bit insecure. He's just insecure, yeah. So how old is he now? He's four and a half. Okay. And would you say this is something that's always been there or something that's growing? It's always been there since we got him, but I think it's got worse maybe because yeah, I don't, okay. we don't know really how to do Yeah, things. sure. And I've probably at the start, I was really nervous with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not nervous now at all with him. Cool. Used to be at the start, I would have pulled him. Right. And that's obviously reinforced the bad behavior. Yeah. And now I don't, I don't, what he does as well, he goes in the first time, he doesn't do anything. He goes in and sniffs the dog, then he comes away and it's on the second time he seems to go to, yeah, for the grab. Okay. See? He's very <laughs> suspicious, isn't he? Yeah. This is him all the time. Everything's like a big overwhelming. Yeah, yeah okay. A bit stuck, mate, eh? such a shame to see him like that. Yeah, it was stressful, wasn't it? He That's goes to right. agility on a one-to-one -one and he oh, absolutely okay. loves that. And the trainer there, she's very good. She specialises in agility. She said he's very intelligent. And yeah. He absolutely picks everything up really quickly. So I'm hoping that he'll pick, thing, you yeah, know, sure. pick it up quickly, hopefully. Sure. Come on. Have a little wonder with him, yeah. Has he got a type of dog that he struggles more with, or is it just dog? I think it's all dogs, but I think smaller dogs, he, he's worse with little oh, ones, okay. maybe, than big ones. Yeah. I mean, when we went to France, there was a, uh, when we first got him, there was a dog to board. My biggest worry is I take him out like this, and I go into the park, and people have their dogs off lead, and they've got no recall, yeah. and they come running straight up to him. Yeah, well, they're the fucking worst. And then I have to get between him and them. Yeah, sure. Velcro, isn't he? Yeah. Sorry. See how quick he does it. He's so quick that takes me on aware as well. Yeah, sure. But I do. If I'm anywhere like the vets or anywhere close to people or anywhere up the town, I always muzzle them. Always. Right. Okay. 
I don't take chances. Yeah, the sure. The only time I walk on like this is when I'm away from everything or, you know, yeah, at a distance. Okay. You've got can, a bit of space. Yeah, and I yeah. can see what I'm doing so I know how to manage it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Do you want a drink? Yeah, we'll see. Has he ever redirected? Has he ever got himself so frustrated with the trigger that he's then decided to take it out on you at all? No, no, he's never touched us. Cool. I could take his food off him, a bone off him. Yeah. He's never growled at me ever. Okay. Or Rick. He's not vicious like that. No. Nah. He's not being aggressive towards me or anything. He, no. In actual fact, he's the opposite. He's a big soft. Yeah. He wants to sit on your lap and look at him. He's trying to get in around my legs. Yeah. He's actually... Stop it. Yeah, very. I wonder if you walk him around, Rick, would he do it with you? I wonder will he do it with Rick? Yeah, Ricky? so yeah, let's see how much he changes then. Sit. Is he even looking for me now, Rick? Yeah, he is. He's far less concerned now. Yeah. It's me, it's all to do with me, I know it is. He's doing it a bit, look. Does he ever resource guard anything? What's that? So resource that gardening is like you'll take a a thing, whether it be food or a toy or a couch or a bed or anything like that, and he, he just he gets very protective over the no, thing. No, no, not at all. What he does do, he carries toys. Yeah, okay. He's very needy. Like, yeah, he likes a job. If, if, he can always tug it and it's appropriate when he's... Yeah, he's very okay. gentle. He likes, well, he is a lab, I suppose. They like carrying stuff, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. He likes working. He does want to do, he wants to please and he wants yeah, to work sure. and he enjoys, that's why I took him to agility, because he enjoys doing stuff. See, he's a lot more relaxed looking now than he was with me. He's yeah, actually wagging he's, his tail. He's though. like hyper vigilant with you, isn't he? Yeah. See, with Ricky's wagging his tail, he never wags his tail. Well, he? waggy tail it's is not a good sign no. sometimes. No, well, yeah. no, yeah. It's, I've watched some it, of it, it is just adrenaline. Yeah. This will be interesting now when he sees this dog. As long as you don't get me, I don't mind. Yeah, it's a good Actually, not too bad. No, it's not so bad. No, but if you add him and yeah, that's right. Yeah, his, his bucket's already getting quite full, though, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it though, eh? In, in his own environment, obviously, he looked fine and everything was good. But when when we got to, um, we'll have to take that thing off. Good. When we brought him home, I quickly realised he was shit scared of traffic. He was right, shit okay. scared of everything. I took him into pets at home and he peed the floor. Oh, bless his it heart. It was like he was. Terrified. Never really seen the outside world much, no. maybe. No, I, I think because he, he come from a village, in a sort of rural countryside. Yeah, okay. Good lad. He's used to the muzzle anyway, so he. Yeah, doesn't okay. Know. I know he's got a lot of gear on. I also want you to slip this little slip collar on him for us as well. Okay. Oh, I should have probably put that on first. Will that go over the muzzle? Do you yeah, it should do. It's got to go over his head, so it should go over the muzzle. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. That's it. Do you want it there? Is that okay? Or yeah, that'll do. Do you there's want this one to that? No, I'm going to clip my one on that, if okay. that's alright. And there's a little stopper um, somewhere on that slip collar. Yeah. I'll get you just to, it ain't got to be tight, but I just don't want it to snug down so it's... About there? So he's not going to wear it like a necklace. Is that that'll okay? That'll do for now. We don't need perfect. Right. What's his name again? Rio. Rio. Rio, let's go. Look at him looking back at me. He's not even trying to bite him, he's quite uh -oh. because the guy knows what he's doing. Let's go, bud. Let's go. Good boy. Uh -uh. Rio. Yeah, he's obsessed with me, the man. <laughs> Rio. Do you know what that could be? Because I was the one that sort of, because 
he's maybe been so scared from where he come from and he sees me as the one oh. that he looks up to as he's Mick. Here we, here we have Mick and Paddy. Yeah. Oh, and Seamus. It's good he didn't well. try and bite him either, Rick. Actually, I don't think he's as bad as some people's dogs because if he was resource garden, that means he'd grill us. And he's not being vicious to us uh -uh. in any shape, form or fashion. He's good, but look, he's doing the pressure thing. Look, uh -uh. and the man pulls it, he knows to stop. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Is he at the same whether it's male or female? I don't know, I'm not sure. I never thought about that, to okay. be honest with you. Come and be bait for us. Yeah. Rio, this way. I mean, his brother's dog's female, if that helps the lab that he gets on with. No. Oh, sorry, you mean woman? Yeah, sorry. human beings. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm Rio. not sure. Sit. Good lad. You're facing the wrong way, but close enough. <laughs> He's facing this way, looking at me. <laughs> He's staring. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> His tail's right between his legs. Rio! Rio, this way. He knows this way. That's why he uses This way. Sit. Sit. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. He's being very obedient. Right, come over here, Fabes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, uh. He's trying to run back to me yeah, again. Yeah, he is. He's going to put his little bravery jacket on now. Maybe I just move that over. Because yes, it keeps sliding. Right, go away. Rio. Stop trying to get around me. Rio, sit. Sit. Good lad. Come over. Good boy. Good boy. Come over a bit, Ben. Good boy. Good lad. Come on, in, let's go. Let's go. Uh -uh. Let's go. Let's go, bud. Let's go. <clears throat> Steve? Steve up there still? Yeah. Steve? Steve? Oh, he's a big bloke, that's what he's going to do. I've got a new big... battery for your hearing aid. You yep. Exactly. <laughs> Come this way for us. No, thanks, Phoebe. Good boy. Uh -uh. In fact, let me come round. Let's put you next to Mummy, shall we? <laughs> yeah, that'll be probably. Uh -huh. This will make a difference. Sit. Good lad. Just come over. Good boy. Sit. Enough. Good boy. Thanks, Steve. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. He's actually wagging his tail. Good boy. Come on. I feel like the easiest way to categorise this is just resource guarding the shit out of you, basically. You've become like prize possession. Mm -hmm. And then you've very close second. Yeah. And like at all costs, protect, protect, protect. Yeah, protect. and that's mm -hmm. making him stress then. Correct. Yeah, because I'm of no value to him whatsoever, so I don't need to put all that effort in. And I sit him near you, Steve's a problem, remove him away from you, I'm not that fast now. Yeah, same with like me and Ben. Like we're like all oh, public enemy number one, but then remove you from the scenario. And then suddenly that tolerance is, yeah. it's not over the moon. No. But suddenly there's a tolerance there that wasn't there a little while ago, yeah. 
Rio. Good lad. Good lad. So we've got to start to break down the unhealthy obsession a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. We've got to make sure that just in general day to day, we can start to take away this. Where are you going? What are you doing? Where are you? Why are you going in there? What's, what, 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 yeah. yeah. We've got to break some of that down. And then when we get in the outside world, we need we need to put you in a position where one, you're comfortable and relaxed. Yeah. But two, where he can't suddenly get overwhelmed. Because it's, it's not fair to say that he's making a decision. Yeah, it's like he's just getting overwhelmed. His yeah. bucket fills up and then he goes, oh, bollocks, I've got to go. Yeah, and it kind of just takes over him a little bit like a hiccup. Yeah. Rio, sit. Good lad. Um, but, but when he does get that overwhelmed that you've got the ability to bring him back down to earth yeah. without it being a holy shit moment at the end of the leash mm. but we need to start breaking down that I don't need or want you to do that yeah this is this is becoming an unacceptable behaviour yeah. yeah but if like he genuinely believes that all day every day you know this is what I've got to do this is I need yeah. to I need to I need to I need to and like thus this whole unhealthy obsession yeah, no, it has got worse, and he has like from seven months to four and a half. It's all that time built yeah. into him. Yeah, right? yeah. So it's it's he's not doing it because he's nasty, and he's not doing it because he's an ass. No, he's just he, genuinely... hon he honestly believes that. Oh fuck, this is what I've got to do. Yeah. Rio, this way. Good boy. He's not looking at me so much now. He's going to put that heavy coat on him, look, that's the weight of the jacket. Rio, sit. Good boy. Ah, ah, sit. Good lad. Don't really need this on, do you? He keeps looking at us. Ah, ah, sit. <laughs> He's just still doing it. Please do. Sit. Good lad. Good lad. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Good boy. Right, so you take him back for a bit. Let's let him decompress for a second. Got to find the right way to communicate with him. The lead is your. The lead is your connection, but what you're clipped to is like your translator. Yeah. Yeah, and and he does tolerate that head collar. I must admit. Um, but all of this rubbing it up and down your yeah, legs. Yeah, trying to get it off. Yeah, it's another, it's another layer of, like what that muzzle does, it adds another layer of vulnerability. Mm, yeah. Because I probably would wager that he's actually quite an insecure dog. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So we need to make sure that we've got the best communication without pouring on loads of other stuff that we don't want, whether that's frustration, agitation, vulnerability, or whatever else, yeah? And we don't want to be in a position where even with that on, if you get a moment like that, he can take you by surprise, and it, especially when it's wet and damp yeah, like I this. Yeah, I could be letting go, or he could be yeah. doing, yeah. It only takes a little bit of a slip, and and there's a very different scenario. Adrenaline takes over at that point, and once he builds that momentum, it's just going to keep going and going and going and going and going and going. Yeah, and we've got to be able to have our breaks at that point, yeah? But what is nice is that he does know what he's supposed to do. Mm. He just gets himself in a bit of a pickle, you know, because he does yeah. settle in really, really nicely. I think mm. he understands the pressure on the lead a bit, because I tried to do that, you know, where you pull it up yeah. and he stops. Yeah. So that helps me. I think it's all in there. I think it's just bringing that to the surface a bit more. Yeah. And helping him understand that I don't need or want you to be doing all this other stuff around. Yeah, me. and that's the thing I didn't know how to do. Yeah, that's absolutely. why I come to see yeah, you guys. Yeah, 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 absolutely. First thing, is I want you to start relaxing a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, because both of you are guilty of it. Mm. Whenever you stop for any length of time, your arms get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter because you're preempting that yeah. I've got to keep my guard up because he's likely to be yeah. a, a wally at That's some me. point. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But as soon as you've got, even if it's just a little bit of pressure or tension in that leash, you're communicating at that point. Yeah. yeah. And what and common sense goes. And he just goes. That thing is there, I don't like it, and you don't like it, it's definitely them. Yeah, at no point is he going to go, oh, you're a bit worried about me being a 
Wally. Yeah, he just goes, they got to go. Yeah, because neither of us are enjoying this now. Yeah. So, you can lose his muzzle. Because that's just stressing him out. <clears throat> and then once you've got that off, that little slip collar. Yeah. We're just going to reposition that so it's as high up his neck as you can possibly get it. Yeah. So you're yep. right under his jawline and then up high behind his ears. Cool. Oh, the other thing I should have asked. Have you got a preference for the side he walks on? I usually walk him on this, on my on your, Oh, perfect, happy days. And then that little stopper, just, that's it, just snug it down. Is that enough? Is yeah, that that'll probably do for now. Yeah, we'll see, because it'll fall down if it's, not, if it's not tight enough. All I want you to do is wander around. Yeah, and the only thing is, to be fair, this is going to be easy because he already does it, but he cannot pull, and if you use pressure to communicate, he has to respond to it. I don't want the pressure to go on and then him pull through it, and then you've got to turn it off for him, okay? But I want you to do this with your arms Dane. taped to your waist. <laughs> That's it. What would you say is your like go-to word? Would it be leave or enough or what? I use leave a lot. Or fucking hell probably comes out a few times. <laughs> leave I uh, use a lot. Um, this way if I want to yeah, okay. take him off in a different direction. Yeah, that's cool. So he knows that word. Yeah, okay. But you reckon leave is probably what would... Right, yeah. Cool. So that just becomes your word now. Yeah, so whenever he does anything, whether it's what he just done, or whether it's overly fixating, or whether that's just starting to stalk, or anything like that. Use that word. Yeah, always use that same word, okay? And then we need to start getting into how you actually put that across. Because we can say leave until we're blue in the face, unless it actually means something. It's just another sound at that yeah, point. Yeah, it's the tone, isn't it, to do... Because he, he's got a good... When he says anything, he'll do it straight away. Yeah, OK. Me, I'm a bit sort of... I, the tone's not so good. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah. So we don't need to scream and shout, but we do need assertive. Yeah. Yeah, if it sounds like you're asking him, then it's probably a little bit too soft. Yeah. But this is not about... It's not about, I'm the boss and I'm in charge and you've got to do this, that and the other. It's about... If you get overwhelmed, you make really bad choices. So I've got to take some of that responsibility away from you for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that is all it is. Because he will make a shit choice and then it will be the wrong person on the wrong day. And then you've got fingers pointing and then, well, we kind of, that's just sad after that. Yeah. Carry on moving around. We need to help build a bit more neutrality into him yeah like an ignorance where all he's worried about is his bubble which includes you and that's it yeah things that are outside of that bubble we need to start helping him honestly believe that it that really doesn't affect him yeah relax your arm is he a foodie yes spray <laughs> lab typical lab yeah. Very Dust, foodie. Dustbin on legs, yeah? Yeah. What about when he's stressed? Is he still a foodie? Yeah. Okay. A sort to a degree, I would so, say. So, a small little correction Leaf. just there. Good. And again? Leaf. There's nothing wrong with looking because he's, he's suspicious. But what he does is he looks and then his mouth closes and then his ears come forward and then he gets himself stuck. And if you miss those little moments, then you're always going to end up in damage control rather than being proactive. You've got to look out for them all the 
always and it's and it's hard and it will become less and less but in the early stages if if we let like let's say the threshold is leave. 10 leave good well done if the threshold is 10 and he's just simmering along at like 9.9 .9, then that little bit there that's always going to be that last little trigger yeah whereas if you can interrupt that while he's still this side of the threshold you've got far more chance of that what just happened happening where you need to give him a reminder there's no need for any other form of correction it's just a verbal cue leave leave but it builds and it builds and it builds and it builds and it builds yeah what's difficult is that if you look at life from his side in an ideal world all that leave. effort he's putting in would make ben go away yeah but it doesn't quite achieve that. But at, at the end of it, oh yeah, but I've still got mum. Yeah, I've still got my prized possession. Yeah, which is his access to you. Thief. What's not possible is to remove you from the walk when it's just you two on the walk. Yeah. <clears throat> Stop him there, put him in a sit. Sit. Good boy. Has he got any food allergies at all? No. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no food say, allergies. Yeah. Never. Leave. You sit. You are a foodie. Sit. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, real foodie, isn't he? Good. Oh yes, he's not he's not bothered. Look, he still eats when he's stressed. Yeah. He sounds like a truffle pig. We do throw food up the garden for him at times. I feed him like that. Yeah. Just throw it around the garden, let him sniff it. Instead of just feeding in his bowl. So we also need to be trying to sit. Change the expectation. Sit. He sees a person. Sit. And goes, oh, well, here we go. Well, now this is going to unfold because I'm going to get stressed. I'm going to have to tell it to go away. Then it will go away and then we get our walk back again. So starting to, to change the expectation of, actually, there's a chance that the presence of the stranger might actually start to announce something positive, positive or beneficial. Yeah. Now, ideally, all of that gets delivered by you. Mm. Yeah. Sit. Because when we're trying to create good when we're trying to create a world where this is irrelevant then i'm making myself very very relevant at the minute yes yeah, so all of this would be coming from you real set back into a sit good. sit sit but changing the expectation of there's a person but if i can disengage from that person sit. i sit. will unlock sit stay yeah. stay whereas at the minute the expectation is there's a person i am going to have to tell it that i don't like it and it's all going to get stressful until that person goes away. Yeah. Good. Sit. Stay. And now walk away with him. So I want you to take a little handful of this. Sit. Stay, stay. Right, snapshot. Look at all that going on. Oh yeah, all right. So that's a couple of things, right? Yeah. Hang on a minute. Yeah. So that's a couple of things. That's one, you being safe. And that's me doing it without thinking as well. Yeah, it just exactly. Happened. But that's you being safe because it stops him from making any horrible mistake. Yeah. But that's also you telling him, this is a problem coming towards us. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of doing that, what I want you to do is just shorten his leash up a little bit. Yeah. Back into his sit. 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 No, and keep yourself tucked into him. Like this? Yeah, perfect. Because then if he does do anything, then the pressure can go on. Yeah. yeah. And because you've got a short leash, your arm's not got to come right up in the air to do it. And if you needed to, you can use yourself to apply a little bit of spatial pressure. Yeah. But that little default habit yeah. is as strong in you as, <laughs> yeah. as his habit is in him. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realise I was yeah. doing it. It's and, it's, and it is default. You go, oh, right, shit, hang on a minute. And you just try and add as much. 
you're not do like, there's no intention but you're just going well this is kind of what i have to do now yeah it's exactly where he's at he sees a person and that's what he does oh shit well this is what i've got to do now yeah but then to help him out in this scenario sit his nose goes down and it makes it a lot easier oh, good idea yeah for me to give you it's just stashing in my pocket So really from here on out, any reward comes from you two. Yeah, I need to become irrelevant to him again now, okay? We need to, we need to make as much of this as positive as possible. Yeah. But what we can't do is reinforce a behavior out of him. Yeah, because that's obviously not how that works. He tries very, very hard to keep all of this at bay and away from him. We must give you the ability to not only tell him that this doesn't concern you, you don't need to be worried about it, and we will make it as positive as possible, but for when the shit does hit the fan, you also need the ability to tell him that, nah, I don't want that. That's yeah. unacceptable. Yeah. I do give off to him, normally. Yeah. But it's better, as you say, having one word rather than like lots of words. Just yeah, but the, the verb will only mean something if it's... If it, is paired with something. Mm. Yeah, a word on its on its own doesn't really do a lot unless they're taught. So, like, if you're using marker words, then yes is always paired with your reward. Yeah. So then we had they build that association, but leave is very rarely paired with much, mm. other than just a pissed off dog at that point. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. What I want you to look for is any time that he engages with us and then disengages whether that's straight to you or whether that's just away from us. And when he does, you can start rewarding him for that, okay? And that might be one bit, that might be a few bits. Yeah, but for the most part, good boy. For the most part, the majority, I want you to start getting on the floor for him. Yeah, yeah. throw it on the floor. Yeah. So what I want you to do, Firm but fair, leave. 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 So, leave. I want you to turn into him, have a little 360, and reset yourself. Thank you. Sit. Leave. Sit. Leave. Is this what you'd expect when he sees the dog? Yeah? It's not me on his back legs. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Turn into him again, do a little reset. Sit, leave. Great. So he gets himself stuck over that threshold. Yeah. Most of what was coming out of him, he was barking and checking in with you two. Like yeah. he's looking for some sort of validation or am I doing it?